Good evening. So I've been out in the sun a lot lately, and so I thought I would test out this viral, uh, the ordinary soothing and barrier support serum. And this serum is kind of cute because it is actually pink. And the pink colors are supposedly a natural pink uh, that comes from the formulation. So it is supposed to um, help repair the skin barrier, soothe discomfort, and reduce the look of redness in the skin. So since I've been in the sun, so I thought I would try this out. It's got like a little bit of a funky smell to it. Like, I don't really know how to describe it. <sighs> kind of like, I don't know, when you're opening up new boxes. And um, there's this little smell to it. I'm kind of not really sure how to explain it. So my skin has actually soaked that up quite quickly. Um, so while there are some great ingredients like um, niacinamide, I'm going to look it up, um, and a lot of basically what we call skin barrier enhancing ingredients in this, it also has some ingredients that um, could clog pores like cedaryl alcohol, uh, what else is in here? Steric acid has a comedogenic factor of 2 to 3, and then people with vitamin E sensitivities, it does have tocopherol in it, which is also a comedogenic factor of 3. So it does have some pretty good ingredients um, like xylitol, um, phospholipids, more lipids, um, and things that do strengthen the skin barrier, but for people who have sensitive skin to begin with, if you're going to use this and it could cause irritations or could clog pores, then there's no real reason to, to buy this, right? So if you are looking for something that won't irritate the skin and won't clog pores, I would actually recommend uh, the Ordinary's multi-peptide solution instead of using this one. Now the reason why I like the Ordinary's a multi-peptide and HA serum more than the barrier support serum is that it actually has peptides that um, target the wrinkles, induce collagen production on different levels. So it's got um, acetohexapeptide 8 that targets like the, the muscles um, and prevents deep contractions in uh, the evening when you're sleeping or even during the daytime. And it's got the palmitol tripeptides 1, 7, 38, and those all target the different layers of kind of collagen producing um, cells. So that's why I would prefer to uh, use the Ordinary Multipeptide and HA Serum versus their um, Barrier Support Serum because this one will also strengthen the skin barrier but it doesn't have the irritants or comedogenic factors in it.